Hey everyone, to watch this video for Tuesday, December 29th. Quick reminder, the market's closed on Friday, so we've got three more trading days. Um, showing you the spot here, look at the volume today. It was really, really dead. You see that little speck of dust on my screen? That is actually today's daily candle for the SPY. So if you were frustrated at all today, um, you know, there's the reason. There was just no range at all. Um, there was a lot of stuff popping, but it was weird. It was like uh, that ACY got going and nobody really knew why. Um, then it halted at like 38 and then, well, let's see, see where it opened after halting at 38. It opened all the way here down at like 17 and ended up going out pretty close to, um, well, not to its lows, but anyway. Um, and so then the discord rooms and the Twitter fun bunch and everybody started piling into, Hey, here's another low floater. And I always, um, get on the mic and caution people in the chat room when that happens, because it usually doesn't end well, um, you know, and I'm sure there's somebody out there that every time this thing halted, they, you know, come out of the halt and they'd buy it. Um, and somebody may have gotten, you know, if you think about it, look at this candle, uh, 198,000 shares just on this candle. It was like a $6 range. Everyone who got long and didn't get out before the halt just got their ass handed to them on that. So you never chase stuff like this. And this is a pretty good lesson if you didn't get involved at all in this thing, and I didn't, I never traded this thing. Um, it's a pretty good lesson that this can happen, right? You know, you think, oh my God, look, this thing's just ripping, ripping, ripping. Every halt, you buy it and it, it opens and runs. Um, but the lesson here is, guess what they can do? And we talked about this before it even happened. They can halt it and it can open anywhere. And it doesn't even have to open again today, right? So anyway, that's what happened. Um, and it's extremely dangerous. So if you're, you know, if you, you're chasing something like that, um, it, it usually doesn't end well. I mean, if you happen to catch it somewhere down here and sell into one of these sizable upside candles, you had a, you made a killing today, right? Um, but you just got to understand the danger involved in stuff like that. So even though the market was dead, you did have some goofy stuff like that running. And like I said, nobody knew why. Um, all right, so let's go back to the SPY, the daily. Um, so that's just unbelievably narrow range today and very, very low volume. So anyway, I'm hoping there'll be a little more volume tomorrow, but you know, maybe it's gonna finish the year like this. I honestly don't know um, because you know, the market's closed on Friday. So maybe it's just gonna be a, uh, you know, the holiday sandwich between Christmas and New Year's Day. Uh, maybe it's gonna be really, really dead out there. Um, all right, so what are we watching for tomorrow? BTBT, BT, huge move. And I, relatively speaking, a fairly strong close. I believe it's Bitcoin related, so we're going to watch that one tomorrow. SIF had this gap up on Thursday and ran and then closed at its lows. And then today started sneaking right back up. So that goes on long watch. Um, EQOS, which is also Bitcoin related. I um, had a nice pop today, but closing well off its highs. I'm going to keep my eyes on that one. CYCC, um, you know, I, I talked about this one in the video coming into today that even though you only had one red day, sometimes strong stocks. Um, only need one red day and they keep going. The sad part is, um, you know, it made most of its move in the last 10 minutes. I was kind of watching this one thinking it might get a burst, but I didn't. I did not participate in the final 10 minutes of the day. Um, the only reason it's on watch is just because it's so darn strong and holding up so well, right? Um, ride, R-I-D-E, had a pop. Let's see, this would have been Wednesday, then Thursday pulled back, and then today. Um, today was actually pretty interesting when it popped here to 23.31 and then came all the way back up and hit 23.29 and then kind of was what I call cup and handling, right? I would have loved this through this high when you have Thursday's high. Remember, the market was closed on Friday. That's why I'm saying Thursday. You had Thursday's high above and Wednesday's high above that. You had kind of a stacked catalyst scenario. They had decent news today that started, you know, you can see the volume, um, you know, on that news about an order for, I don't know, however many trucks um, but it went out closer to its lows than the high, so I like it a little bit less, but you do have, after the pop on Wednesday, you have a lower high and a lower high, so maybe this one uh, can get going. Goes on watch, S-T-I-C. Um, had this crazy move, and then, you know, you've only got one red day here, um, so I, I threw it on bounce watch, we'll see. Um, I feel like it needs to come in some more, but we'll see. XL had that um, bullish piece, uh, I think Citron uh, announced they were long and they provided kind of a bullish bullish case for this one. Um, and so people chased it and then it gapped up the next day, had a solid red day. That would have been Thursday and then another solid red day. Now, it's only been trading for four days ever, right? So I do like this one because it had 
this massive move, and now you've got a couple red days on declining volume. So I think it's a pretty good scenario for a turn back up tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday, maybe never. We don't know. We're day traders. We'll take A-plus intraday setups on anything on this list if we get them, right? In cash every night for me. Fubo, F-U-B-O, had the big rip, was on bounce watch coming into today. And then another red day, kind of right here in that area we call the buy zone between the 8 and the 20, closing pretty close to the middle of the buy zone. So I do want to watch this for a bounce tomorrow. That's F-U-B-O. Laser, L-A-Z-R, goes on bounce watch. Had a really nice pop back here. Four, day, four red days in a row on declining volume into that buy zone area. So that one goes on bounce watch. LI, I wanted to take one of the Chinese EV plays. It could have been XPEV, it could have been NEO. Um, I just randomly picked LI, but you know, you're talking four red days in a row now. Um, so just I'm just looking for an oversold bounce in these, really in the whole space. So we're gonna watch that one. FLY had a really nice two day run from about, let's see, 769 to 11 in two days. And now you've got one day, one red day on lower volume a partial retracement. Again, this one maybe needs another red day, but I'm gonna start watching it tomorrow. And then lastly, I threw you, you, you on there because in after hours, at least right now, it's trading at 565. So I, I couldn't find news, but it doesn't mean there isn't any. I only checked one source. So a possible gapper tomorrow. We'll find other gappers in the pre-market as well as this list and hopefully find some A-plus trades again tomorrow. I'm done babbling. See you tomorrow.